Namaskar my dear friends, I'm back again. Today I would like to share with you all <laughs> situations in my life where our guru, Sadguru, has been mocked in front of my face. It has been very painful, it has been very challenging, and I think it's just my karma trying to teach me some things. But let me share with you all <laughs> some funny situations that I have to face having to defend myself and our guru and sometimes it just has been hopeless but nonetheless I will share once upon a time a person came up to me and asked how can you worship this person why do you worship him like a god and uh, he's just a human being like every one of us <laughs> and my counter was oh he's more than just a human being he's very mystical and I elaborate the stories of how great Sadhguru is. And I think for some people, this explanation doesn't really do anything. <laughs> what do I do? Oh, here's another situation. Someone came up to me and said, Oh, why are you in love with this person? Why do you have him as your wallpaper on your phone? He's not even good looking. <laughs> Excuse me, Sadhguru is actually good looking. <sighs> and the third thing, <sighs> someone came up to me and said, Why do you even support Isha Foundation or why do you even follow them? It's all a scam. The programs are so expensive. And so I replied and I said, Well, Sadhguru said that if his programs were free, People would just sit, and after a few, they get bored, they walk away. And of course, these people's ears are closed. Or oh, actually, even before they closed their ears, one of their counter was, Look at all the religions! They allow you to talk to their god without even having to give up a dime. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just sharing this with you all because sometimes it can be painful. I know there are some situations or just bow down and walk away. I don't even have to explain myself. But sometimes there are situations where I have to stay, navigate the situation because I'm needed at that moment, because I am required to be there at that moment. No matter how painful it is that they mock my guru, that sometimes I really wanna fight, and sometimes I do fight, because fighting has been successful for me. But recently I have realized sometimes fighting can be very destructive, can produce such negative energy. It hurts me and the other person. So I'm sharing this with you all, hoping you all have similar experiences, how you respond to these mockery and how your hearts have softened and willingly bless them for their ignorance. But like what Sadhguru said, we cannot compromise our sadhana for relationships, for money, for a job, for convenience and comfort. Sadhana is too important in this lifetime. For me, sadhana is very important. And to my guru, to our guru, I think it just gives me a sense of peace that he will be there to guide me. Not in words or voices that I hear, nothing really. In my experience of Sadhguru, I just stay still, hoping for him to come intervene in everything that's going on around me. And he never fails. He never fails. And then I will have the clarity to do the next step. So, I think that's about it, you guys. Let me know some of your experiences, if you have any similar experience of other people mocking your guru or yourself. Do share. <laughs> to be fair, I was more <laughs> fumed a while ago when a certain situation has happened. But right now, there's so much calmness in me. There's so much grace around me. I couldn't stay angry for too long. Oh. <laughs> One more. Someone came up to me and said, uh, I should just put Guru at the end of my name. That way you will make me your wallpaper and you will give me money for my advices. <laughs> okay, enough, enough, enough. Bless them for they don't know. So yes, until next time you guys do share. I actually get really excited <laughs> with your guys' comments and I love reading them. So yeah, until next time. Bye. Mwah.